Yo, good morning. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Garrett Spencer. T today, is Saturday. Y'all know what to. Y'all know what today is. Y'all know what that means. Saturday shout out. Then the topic on what the, on the discussion. What I'm going to talk about. So first shout out give out to is Alpha Nerd. Alpha Nerd. Um, check him out for those who hasn't. You know, he's a retro gamer as well. He's a cool person. He had some co really cool videos, and has a cool channel. So Alpha Nerd, y'all. Second person, give a shout out to is Dr. Josh, the real gamer. Dr. Josh, the real gamer. Check him out for those who hasn't. Cool person and also a good channel. Awesome gamer, good at comparing games and has a good variety. Good has a really good game collection. So Dr. Josh, the real gamer, check him out. And I just uh, I see that you have uh, made an, I see that you made a new video just now. You know I'm gonna start. I started look looking at it a little bit, but I'm gonna finish it. And it's funny how you imitate you imitate, imitate um people's um you were imitating um uh, you were reading a little storyline and you your voice is funny, so but Dr. Josh the real gamer y'all. Another person give a shout out to is Calvin Junior. Calvin Junior, check him out for those who hasn't. He's funny, entertaining, likes to make people likes to make people laugh, and um he has a cool channel and um. Calvin, I can't wait for you to get that NBA Jam Arcade one up when it comes out. I can't wait to see you play that shit, man. Yeah. I, I want to see you get some more games, Calvin. So can't wait for that one day. Next person, give a shout out to is One Up Woman. One Up Woman, like I said, I hope you're doing all right. Check her out for those who hasn't. She's cool. Has a good channel. A, good, a cool gamer and um and a good person. So One Up Woman. Next person, give a shout out to is KB211. KB211, hope you're doing all right as well. Check her out for those who hasn't. A cool person and a cool gamer, an awesome channel. So KB to eleven. Uh, the next next person we gonna give a shout out to is Ocean JA. Ocean JA, thanks for stopping by yesterday. Um, appreciate appreciate the love and support. Ocean JA, check her out for those who hasn't y'all. Cool person, a good channel, and you know just uh, and also you know showing the, the appreciation. So Ocean JA y'all. Next person we gonna give a shout out to is Brian Trusty. Brian Trusty, check him out for those who hasn't. Um, a cool person, an awesome channel, professional with his channel, and a gamer, and a cool gamer. And, um, you know, he's funny and entertaining as well. So, Brian Trusty, y'all. Uh, next person we're going to give a shout out to is Filippo. Filippo, check him out. A cool channel, a good person, and um, another gamer. So, check him out, y'all. Next person is Rotten Games. Rotten Games, um, Check him out for those who hasn't. He's a he's a cool person. Has a good channel. He's a he's a cool gamer as well. Check him out. Rotten Games. Next person we gonna give a shout out to is my boy Zachary. Zachary, check him out for those who hasn't. He's a cool person. He has a nice channel, and he's also a fan of Sonic as well. He be playing. He be doing live streams sometimes, mostly mostly on um, Sonic Advance. And um, last stream he did one on was Super Mario, a Super Mario Brothers game. So Zachary, y'all. Uh, next person we're gonna give a shout out to is Dead Thumb Gamer DTG. Dead Thumb Gamer, check him out. Cool person, a cool channel, and um, does review videos sometimes on whatever comes to mind. Mostly, it's also always gonna be about games because he's a gamer himself. So Dead Thumb Gamer, y'all, check him out. Next person we'll give a shout out to is Chauncey Talon. Chauncey Talon, check him out. Cool person, a good channel, another gamer. And um, just good people. So uh, Chauncey Talon, y'all. Next person we're gonna give a shout out to is J Love eighty one. J Love eighty one, check her out for those who hasn't. She's a cool, she's a cool person, a uh, an awesome gamer, a good channel. Does review videos on on games, and also she uh, does live streams sometimes on gaming as well. So J Love eighty one. Next person we're gonna give a shout out to is the Buckeye Gamer, aka Virginia. The Buckeye Gamer, check her out for those who hasn't. She um has a cool channel. She's a nice person, and um she does videos on games as well. She does videos on games as well and pick up videos and stuff like that. So the Buckeye Gamer, y'all check her out for those for those um who has it. And um next person we'll give a shout out to is Rockstar Nick two thousand. Rockstar Nick two thousand, check him out for those who hasn't. He's a cool person. He's um. Has a good channel. He's another gamer, and uh, he comes by and shows the appreciation every now, sometimes, once a while. So, Rockstar Nick 2000. 
Next person we'll give a shout out to is T Belly. T Belly, check him out for those who hasn't. He's a um, retro gamer. He's a cool gamer. He's a nice per. He's a cool person. He has a good channel, and uh, he does live streams and videos sometimes, whenever. So T Belly, y'all check him out though. And um, next person we're gonna give a shout out to is Rick Thomas. Rick Thomas, check him out for those who hasn't. You know, he's a cool, cool person. He comes by the stream once in a while, show the appreciation. And um, hope everything's going all right with you, Rick. I haven't seen you in a minute, so Rick Thomas, y'all. Check him out for those who hasn't. And um, next person we're gonna give a shout out to is Ari Art, Frozen Art, Frozen Art. Check her out for those who hasn't. He, she's a, uh, she's a cool per, she's a cool person. Um, has a nice channel. She's very talented and good at drawing. So Frozen Art, y'all, check her out for for those who hasn't. Next person we're gonna give a shout out to is Orion Star. Orion Star, check her out. Check her out for those who hasn't. She's a nice person. She has a good channel, and she likes she likes gaming as well. So Orion Star, y'all. And next person we're gonna give a shout out to is Brandon Archer. Brandon Archer, check him out for those who hasn't. He's a cool person. He has a nice channel, and um, he comes through. He comes through to show the appreciation, and the love as well. So check out Brandon Archer, y'all. Next person we're going to give a shout out to is uh, Savage Batman. Savage Batman, check him out for those who hasn't. Cool person, likes the game as well, just like we all do. And sometimes it's coming through and showing the appreciation. So, Savage Batman. And, um, and, as, far as, our, and, and uh, as far as everybody else goes, just want to say thank you and welcome to my channel. Hope you guys continue to watch the videos as I post them as we go. So thank you guys again and welcome and I'm glad to have you guys. You guys are the greatest and you guys will always will be. All right, so and so that takes care of that part. So topic and discussion I'm going to get into is on uh, my opinion my opinion on 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 the uh, video game kiosk and actually owning a game system. And so that's what I'm going to kind of get into today, my opinions on, you know, opinions and differences on on those two things. So now, um, my opinion, it my opinion is it's um, it's actually better to uh, it's actually better to um to own a game own own your own uh game consoles and game systems and whatnot, you know because the reason that the reason that is is because one you know you you figure you're at home you got furniture your TV's right in front your your TV's right in front of you and um. You probably get you probably got you got a lot more games than what they be having on the um on the kiosk um the video game kiosk and um you know you got a couch you can get comfortable you can um you, you know get yourself a snack get yourself a drink and um you know you know feast and um you know drink while you um play your um video games at home and um you know you could you know basically do whatever you want because it's your house and um you got free time and what you and um you got free time to do whatever you want play as long as you want and you don't have to you don't you don't have to worry about you know you don't have to worry about being on a certain time limit and because um it's gonna it's always gonna be your choice on whether when you're ready to um stop gaming for for today or not you know so that's why it's better to um that's why it's better to um, own your own game systems and whatnot, you know, and always, you know, because like I said, you, you know, they're not demo, they're not demo disc like they have it that, that they be having on the kiosk and everything. So it's like, you know, you own them, you're, they're yours, so you can play as long as you want, play whatever you want, and, you know, the choice is yours, so... Now, and as far as video game kiosk goes, now I know I know you guys have already heard me talk about talk about them months ago on these videos that I've made on a Saturday and whatnot. Yeah, when I was a kid, and I'm, I'm sure when we were all kids and we all went shopping with our moms and dads and you know into um, department stores that had video games, which which it could have been it could have been Sears or you know let's say Best Buy, Circuit City. Um, or where, or Toys R Us or wherever wherever store we had that had video games video games and video game kiosk in them we probably I'm sure you know and I already know I did I'm sure you guys probably did the same thing like oh 
They got a Sega Genesis kiosk. They got a PlayStation 1 kiosk, N64, GameCube, PS2, or whatever, you know, or Virtual Boy, Super Nintendo, kiosk, whatever, whatever um, game systems uh, was around, you know, when you guys was around as well, and especially, you know, so I'm sure we all got excited and said, oh, I want to play that, like, so, you know, lots of times, yeah, you know, me going into stores with my mom and stuff like that, you know, I'll be on the, um, well, because the only place I played the Sega Genesis kiosk was at Sears. And then, um, and then after they took that out, when, um, I guess when Sega Genesis was off the market was, there was, uh, yeah, they had an N64 in there, then they had PlayStation 1, and, you know, there was different, there was different places where I played the other game, video game kiosk and whatnot, but that was at the time we was a kid, though. Now, you know, you could, in the, in the, see, the thing about playing video game kiosk is, you know, you have, you, you know, it's only connected to that syst It's only connected to that uh, machine. You can't even sit. You can't even sit down because you gotta stick. You gotta stand up if you. You gotta stand up and play. You can't even sit down, even though at times when you know when it was time to go and whatnot, um, you know, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave the store because I was so. I was basically so addicted to. Um, I wanted to play more and more of the uh, video game kiosk and um, but. Didn't really have, didn't really have a choice. We were kids, so it's like, you know, when they, parents said it was time to go, it was time to go. So there wasn't no negotiation. There wasn't, you know, no other choice about it. So that's the only thing about the kiosk is, you know, it was. I mean, maybe at the time it was cool as a kid, you know, playing them. But it's like now, it's like, nah, because you can't even sit down. You got to stand up, and it's like, and it's like, um, it's just not the same as owning your own game system owning your own game system at home, you know, because the stupid thing, the stupid thing what, for these store would have been for these stores to do was, uh, make a little living room set with a couch and a, and a nice, um, last boy chair, a TV, a TV, um, and a table hooked up and set up and having a game and having a video game, uh, system hooked up to that, uh, in that little living room set, you know, and why do I think that would be stupid is because, well, probably because one, the games, you know, kids, like I said, kids, they run around, they do all, you know, they make messes, they don't clean up after themselves. So the chances could have been, well, games could have been all over the floor, not picked up and put put away and stacked and stacked up neatly in, in the proper way. Or possibility, some old, some older kids could, you know, see it, sit there and play it, and then eventually. They could have probably, they could have, you know, without anybody noticing or not getting caught, they could have unhooked it and stole it. That's why I think that that part would have been stupid for them. That, that that's why I think the stores would have been. It would have been a stupid choice for them to um to hook the system up like that into a living room set like that. So, so now I could understand why they. Now I could probably understand, in my opinion, why they just had they just put them in um. They hooked them up as video game kiosk, and they have they have the systems locked up inside of that machine, you know, so nobody could you know get a hold of them. So maybe that's probably the reason why, and then, and why I think that would be stupid. But like I said, you know, now that we now that we grown, we old enough to work, we old enough to make our own money, we can drive, we old enough, to, you know, we can drive, get around, and. We could buy we could buy whatever games we want when we want them. So it's like now nope, things have changed. So now you already know I, I got all the systems that I want, and you know I'm still you know I got one game that came into the me came into the mail yesterday for PS2, and um I'm just waiting waiting for the other ones to come in. I'm I'm feeling pretty excited about it because I feel because like I said that that video I made last Sunday about the list of games I got well. A few days ago, like the day after my birthday, my woman gave me an Amazon card that had fifty dollars on it. So I was on Amazon shopping spree that Wednesday, you know, but getting the getting the game most some most of the games I was on my list um, that I want. Now I didn't get all of them, but there is going to be other ones on that list that I I didn't get though. But I'm going to get them now. So I'm just waiting. You know, I already got like I said, I already got one game that came in the mail yesterday for PS2. So just gonna wait for the just gonna wait for the rest of them, but I can't wait for that because when I looked at the gameplays on these games, they look so 
they looked so good. They looked amazing, and the graphics was good, and um, the gameplay was ex was good. So, otherwise, I wouldn't get games that that doesn't have a good gameplay, you know. So, like I said, I'm still excited, y'all, and I can't, you know, I can't wait. So, so, but anyway, um, like I said, so today, today I will, I will, I will not be um live. I will not be uh gaming and streaming today because. I am supposed to be going to a basketball game at 3 o'clock, my little brother's basketball game this afternoon, and like I said, hopefully my woman could, um, gets off early enough and gets back on time, that way we can go together, and then probably later on this evening, we'll, we're supposed to be going to a, we're, we're supposed to be going to, um, the movies this uh, evening, so, so we just, you know, play it by ear, and we just, um, go from there, so... But otherwise, this is your boy Garrett Spencer. You guys take it easy, and I will see you guys next week. Peace in the mountain. Remember, y'all, once a gamer, always a gamer. Keep on gaming, y'all.